Hi, Water Energies, Pisces, Cancer, and Scorpio, Ascendant, Sun, Moon, Venus, Rising, and those cross watching, and welcome to your tarot love messages here. Today, we're going to focus on whether or not they've moved on. So, I guess the question we're asking here, tarot, is have they moved on from you? Okay, have they moved on physically, emotionally? Um, what messages can the cards? Uh, relay back to you. These are going to be general messages guys, so please just keep that in mind. If you are after a personal tarot reading with myself, please feel free to reach out and inquire. I will list my email address just below the video here. So we'll give the cards a shuffle and see whether your person here, your special person, your ex or someone that you were loosely involved with, you know, have they moved on? Or is there still hope for the two of you? Is there still hope for this connection? Okay, so we'll go ahead and give the cards a shuffle and see what they say. in reverse the hangman it's also in reverse here as is the lovers card here the queen of cups in reverse but we've got the eight of cups and the tower card here um, upright the only two cards that are upright here um, interesting water energies have they moved on here from you Okay, from what I can see, I feel like despite their best efforts to walk away, okay, despite their best efforts to move on, to forget about you, to forget about what the two of you once had, to forget about all, you know, the future plans that the two of you have made for one another, despite their best efforts here, I feel like they're really trying hard to move on, but I feel like this person is still stuck on you emotionally, um, mentally here. It is draining them, guys, though. I feel like your person here is fighting the urge, is resisting the urge to contact you, to com to communicate with you. They're resisting the urge to come back to you here. They're, they're trying really hard, but I feel like what's happening here is that it's emotionally draining them. It's it's very exhausting. I feel like, you know, all these cards in, revi in reverse sorry, tells us that they are trying. They are trying to move on from you. They're trying to forget about you. They're trying their best here. And despite their best efforts, I feel like they're not able to move on from you. Okay? They're not able to move on from you. They can't necessarily forget about you. I feel like you've made a very big impact on their lives. And I feel like you were someone very special to them. And I feel like for the first time in a very long time, or if ever, guys, this person actually saw a future with you. And this person actually wanted to settle down with someone. Or this person wanted to build something very special with you. And the two of you sort of coming apart really meant that, you know, their whole world sort of collapsed. Okay? When you walked away and when they pulled away from you, um, what happened with them emotionally was like the whole world, everything sort of just collapsed on them. They're still dealing with it, okay? I feel like right now, and I feel like what might help them move on here is a sense of closure because for some of you whether you were actually involved in a long-term relationship or you had something serious or whether you've had a situation going on with this person or even if you were like loosely involved with this person from what i can see um, maybe there was a very abrupt ending to your situation which i feel like is impacting them moving on emotionally okay because there was no lack of because there's a lack of closure right there was no um there was a beginning there was a middle but there was no proper end which sort of leaves it open I guess to maybe come back to this or it sort of leaves it open for them so this is why it's really hard for them to close the chapter on this connection it's really hard for them to move on because there was no ending okay like I said there was a beginning there was a middle but unfortunately there was no proper ending so I feel like maybe this person your person here is trying to draw um, on some sort of closure but I feel like they haven't been able to successfully arrive at one I can see that there are some issues that stand in the way from them moving on and I feel like your person is still emotionally attached and I still feel uh, I feel like your person is having a hard time moving on from what you had like they have a hard time accepting that you know it's over okay or that the two of you are no longer an item or that you know the two of you are not likely to go back to the start and you know go back to once what you once had here 
I'm also seeing that your person he has a hard time dealing um, with emotions, okay, processing emotions here. They have a hard time. So I feel like this is sort of prolonging the, you know, the healing process or this is sort of prolonging um, this person from moving on here because instead of dealing with all emotions and instead, instead of accepting reality here, I feel like your person may be sort of, they sometimes may be leaning towards fantasies like the fantasies the illusions or the fantasies they had for this connection that were never really fulfilled or never really manifested they hold on to that i feel like they hold on to that and in some way it gives them comfort in some way it comforts their grieving um emotions here yeah. i feel like they're doing a lot of the two of you separating, the two of you walking away from one another, or even why your person has moved on from you physically is because I feel like your person is doing a lot of introspection, okay? Or they need to do a lot of introspection here. Okay, so have they moved on? No, not really. Not emotionally. And even if physically, even if like there are evidence of them physically walking away from you, like, you know, um, putting it into the connection, like ghosting you, um, calling it quits on this relationship or distancing themselves from you. I feel like emotionally, they're still attached. Emotionally, they still feel connected, guys. And you being the intuitive water energy that you are, I feel like you feel deep down inside that, you know, regardless of, you know, what anyone says or regardless what anyone does, regardless what of what you think um guys you deep down inside do still feel intuitively connected to your person and you know that you don't need this reading to tell you that your person hasn't moved on from you okay because i feel like you feel it maybe you just need the validation or maybe you just need the confirmation but you don't need me to tell you what your intuition has already you know has already spoken to you about and that's that your person hasn't moved on from you not emotionally they're still stuck um on you they're still stuck, you know, on you here and they're still stuck on their emotions for you. So I guess your question would be, will they ever move on from you here? You've made a very big splash in their lives, guys. You've made a very big splash water energies in their lives. You've changed. I feel like you've potentially changed their lives, which is a really big thing to say. But I feel like your person, will they move on from you one day? Maybe one day. But just because they might be able to move on from you, it doesn't necessarily mean that they will be able to forget you because they won't, okay? They may not forget the sound of your laughter or your smile, the way you made them feel or how you changed them and how you changed, you know, uh, how you help them change their perspective and how you've just entered their life and, um, you know, everything else sort of uh, changed for them um, with your arrival here. And there may be a time, you know, when this person might heal from the fact that the two of you are separated and, you know, you are no longer together. So maybe they will be able to move on from you, but they most certainly will not be able to forget you guys here. All right. And these are your messages. I just want to thank you all for watching and for listening. Please show your support by subscribing to this channel, liking, sharing or commenting. I will be sharing with you more tarot love messages. So stay tuned. Thanks guys again. Bye for now.